In this video I'd like to show you a method for determining the amount of significant figures in measured values. Significant figures only apply to numbers that have been determined experimentally. The name of the technique is called the Atlantic Pacific Rule. And in front of you you see a map of the United States. To the left of the United States there's the Pacific Ocean. To the right there's the Atlantic. The P in the Pacific means the decimal is present. And the A in Atlantic means the decimal and number is absent. So I'm going to teach you the method by just doing some examples. Here are six numbers that we're going to use the Atlantic Pacific Rule to determine the number of significance significant figures, excuse me, in each of these assumed measured values. So if these numbers are reported as such, let's take a look. 3,000 without a decimal point. Well, the decimal point is in this case absent, just like Atlantic. That means if you're floating on a boat on the Atlantic Ocean and you're looking for significant figures, you float from the right side or the Atlantic side and you anchor on to the first non-zero integer in the number and that's the three. And you take out your binoculars and you look forward, in other words in this case to the left and you don't see any numbers in front of you so that means there's only one significant digit in this number and the significant digit is the, is the integer you landed on which is three so in this case it's 1. And this next number it's 3,000 with the decimal. So you come from the Pacific side because the decimal is present. You come from the left side, you floating on your boat looking for significant figures and you anchor on to the first non-zero integer. In this case it's the 3. You take out your binoculars and you look forward. In this case it's to the right. And you see three zeros that are written. So, okay, well, I'm going to include those three zeros that are written as significant figures. So in this case we have four significant figures. This next number is point zero 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 four. The decimal is present, so you are floating on your boat from the Pacific side or the left side, and you float along until you hit your first non-zero integer. You ignore all these zeros until you hit the four. Stop there, look forward, you don't see anything written, so this is one significant figure. Next example. The decimal is present again, so you come from the Pacific side to the left side. You float over all these zeros until you hit the first non-zero digit, this is a four. And you look out in front of you and you see two zeros that are written, and you include those two zeros as significant figures. So in this case there's three significant figures. The next example is written in scientific notation. And scientific notation is quite easy because you ignore the exponent. So you just forget about this part and you focus your attention on the coefficient. And there's only one number written here and so there's only one significant figure. Next example, again ignore the exponential part of it focus your attention on the coefficient. The decimal is present, so you come from the Pacific side. You stop at the first non-zero digit, it's 7. You look forward, look to the right, you see two zeros that are written. So there are three significant figures in this number. Now let me just do a little variation on all these numbers that are here. If we had a 5 written there, for example. That changes things. Because 
oops, hmm. we're coming from the Atlantic side because the decimal is absent and we ignore this first zero we don't anchor on that we anchor on the first non-zero digit and we stop at the five this time and we look forward we look to the left and we see a zero written and a three written and we include those in our significant figure account including the number we landed on so in this case there's three significant figures if I were to put a 1 here, it wouldn't change the amount of significant figures in this measured value. We come from the Pacific side, we stop at the 3, and we include all numbers that are written. 0, the 1, the 0, and plus the 3 that we anchored on, so it's still 4. Now if I were to have write, let's say, two zeros there, we still come from the Pacific side, stop at the 3, but now we see that there are one, two, three, four, five numbers written there. So the total amount of sig figs is six. This next one, if I were to have put a one there, or let's say a, do something different like a nine, come from the Pacific side, ignore these zeros, anchor on the first non-zero integer, coming from the left, this is the 9. Now I look forward, I see a 0 and a 4 written. So my total amount of six figs in this case is going to be 3. And let's do something with this last, or with this next one. Let's put a 2 there. This is still going to have three significant figures because I'm coming from the left, the Pacific side, stop at the 4, there's a 0 and a 2 written, and I include the 4 in my count, so this is still 3.